Hi, my name is Sydney Hall, and I'd like to tell you a story about what it's like to live with invisible illnesses. Remember when you were a little kid at a birthday party? Before hitting a pinata, you were spun around three times, then swung your bat wildly in hopes to come in contact with that pinata's weak spot while candy will come pouring out. Everyone rushes to the ground as you rip off your blindfold. While well, having invisible illnesses, I feel like that kid with the blindfold, blindly spinning around aimlessly, trying to accept and persevere through my illnesses while also finding purpose. Since I was 13, I've dealt with having a primary immune deficiency, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, POTS, a heart condition, and narcolepsy, a sleeping disorder. Despite dealing with these invisible illnesses for over a decade, I've always persevered. The worst side effects have been the extreme fatigue and risk of infection. I got mono, pneumonia, the flu, anything you could think of, and I had to leave high school and I pursued my GED and went to college a semester early. I then went to Colorado State University studying accounting and have a 4.0 GPA. I was able to do this after spending weeks and years in bed by slowly increasing my stamina to go to school full time, have an internship at Make-A-Wish Hawaii, and be part of the University of Hawaii Rotaract Club. At the University of Hawaii Rotaract Club, they strive for excellence in volunteering for various companies and organizations and attending career development seminars to better myself and others. This past year, I was also an intern for Make-A-Wish Hawaii as a business intern. Make-A-Wish Hawaii grants wishes all over the world for children with life-threatening illnesses to make their dreams come true. By being a part of this company, I was able to connect with children with illnesses who often have invisible disabilities. Now that I know how to navigate through my illnesses and disabilities, it's my dream to go to law school and become a lawyer to help advocate for individuals with disabilities, showing the world that we can achieve anything. I want to say thank you for putting me in the limelight. For those of you watching this that deal with disabilities, know that just like me, you are not your diagnosis. You are so much more than that. I'm strong, and no matter how many times I fell down, I always got back up, and that's the true key to success.